The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Peak, realagriculture.com, and Joanna. We're here with Joanna Falling, cereal specialist, Ministry of Agriculture. What is going on with this wheat crop? Look at it. <laughs> yeah, it's looking a little interesting. We've got some red, yellow going on. So what we're thinking is going on here, what we're seeing happen this year is we've had such a beautiful fall. We've had some beautiful days, 20 degree weather, but then we're dipping down to minus five, minus two at nighttime. And so what's happening is the top vegetative growth, it's really wanting to grow, it's photosynthesizing, but those poor roots in that cold soil are just having a tough time growing and penetrating through that soil. Yeah, absolutely. So man, it, they've already killed the wheat crop once, right? It's yep. November the 20th and we've already killed the wheat crop once because it's yellow it's purple it's red the one grower said to me his wheat crop looked like he'd sprayed it with glyphosate and exactly we've had glorious weather i mean gosh it's the 20th of november and we're standing you know just a, a windbreaker no parka so the wheat's photosynthesizing and the roots can't grow either it's cold or it's wet the other thing that you really have to look at is is how wet so you get that photosynthate built up in the above ground part of the plant and it's toxic if, if it doesn't have a sink. The roots can't use it, builds up, it goes purple, anthocyanin, because that's how the plant, plant protects itself. So that's the one thing. This next thing you kind of look at and say, okay, so not every wheat field, right, yep. is going yellow. So what's going on, Joanna? Like what, what's happening that, that parts, like it's yellow here, it's not yellow over there, what, what, what else is involved? So great question. So some of the situations where we're seeing it is where we've got compaction, we've got all those heavy grain carts, combines full of soybeans, and we're, com we're seeing where compaction's happening. That's where we're seeing yellow wheat. We're all seeing yellow wheat where we don't have a starter fertilizer. We can't access those nutrients because those roots haven't been able to grow and develop. We're also seeing all our tiles run, and we're also seeing issues with internal drainage. Yeah, so that's the one. Wheat is such a great indicator crop and people don't really think about that, but this year has been incredible. We see the tile run wheat at emergence and you're going like that's systematically tiled. Well, guess what? If you're seeing tile run wheat, you maybe need to think about splitting the tile. But the other thing that's been really interesting and I want you all to think about this and if you've got a neighbor with good wheat and yours is red and purple, then think about what you're doing different from a cover crop standpoint, from a tillage standpoint, from a compaction standpoint, because that's a really good indicator that the soil isn't, isn't maintaining its aggregate stability because you need that to let the water actually move away. And what I've been astounded with, just astounded with, is I, we haven't had a wet fall, it should be dry, and I walk these wheat fields and it's wet right to the surface and the wheat looks like crap. So it really is an interesting thought process in terms of, of letting the wheat crop tell you what the heck's going on. Absolutely, what do we always say? Wheat does not like wet feet. 100%, just hates wet feet. So pay attention to your wheat crop because right now it is giving you probably the best indicator we've had in a long time of how good a manager you are and whether or not you have good drainage and, and the, the conditions that are going to give you 100 bushel wheat. Peter Johnson at WeedPete, realagriculture.com with the awesome cereal specialist with the Ministry of Agriculture and Food, Joanna Fallings. Whatever you do, pay attention to your wheat crop and grow great wheat.